from I'm Molly and today's video I'm gonna do my everyday makeup so this is just what I do if I'm just nipping not nipping but like if I'm going out shopping or just like going out something to wait I'll usually do this to college or to um I use it to school as well so it's just like quite a natural makeup <laughs> Right, I'm going to start by taking the Revolution foundation. Um, mine's in the shade F02. Uh, this is a really, really light one. Uh, I had to add some like darkening drops into it because it was really, really light, and I have like really pale skin anyway. Uh, so when I'm just doing like everyday makeup, I don't wear primer. I have put moisturiser on, but I don't wear primer because I don't really see the point. I usually take my sponge but for this foundation I always use a brush so this is a bag gloss it's just like like a I don't even know it just looks like this basically I don't know how to explain it but this is really good for blending that foundation now I don't know if the brown gloss is good I have like an eye on a palette by them but I don't ever use it but I got it for Christmas like last year I think off my grandma or something and this is the brush that it came with and it actually is really good. I feel like as well with this brush you can blend out foundation really really quickly with it. And when I first bought the Revolution foundation I was really disappointed with it but I think it was just like it didn't look nice just because of like how light it was on me. But then when I added my dark foundation into it, uh, yeah I quite like it. Now it's not my favourite but I do use it quite a lot to be fair. Alright, foundation is done. I'm going to take Revolution Concealer. This is just like the concealer version of the foundation. And I'm running out of these. I always, when I buy them, I always buy four just because of how quickly they run out. And I've run out of two. So I've got two left and one black, white one. Like I have like two left in this year, then one white one. Same brush again because my sponges aren't wet. I can't be wetting them. And if I was in a rush, this is what I do anyway. Because I don't have time to be wetting my sponges. But yeah, so I've not been shopping in a while uh, where I can buy them. So I need to buy more because the two that I've got, I'm running out of extremely badly. But I really love this concealer. Like, I think it's four pound from Superdrug and it's got such nice coverage. It's just a shame that you don't get like a lot in the tube. Right, and then just set that all in place. I've got Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Just shove this everywhere on a Real Techniques powder brush and I have oily skin so I have to powder like no matter what I always put powder on but that's the one thing I hate about no makeup days I always get really oily because I've not got any powder on now moving on to brands that I've got this is by Booper I think it's their own brand and it's just a contour palette and I use this shade because this is quite dark on me like I use this as a bronzer I use this as a bronzer as well when I'm a bit more tanned I just don't use this shade because it's like really ashy but these two colours are really good especially um, this middle one if you like a really warm tone bronzer I'm going to take the middle shade with a little bit of the um, last shade and just put this on my cheekbones just to add some colour so I don't look dead You blend out really nicely as well. And then I just take like the middle one just from my forehead without mixing it. Just dust a little bit on my nose. Alright, moving on to blush. This is by Sleek and it's got three shades in. It's just oh. This is by BH Cosmetics and it's just like a fluffy like it just fits really perfectly there. I just mix all three of them together and just swirl it around my cheekbones. But I always put a little bit on the tip of my nose as well and on my chin. Alright, so for my eyes, if I'm just like everyday makeup, for me, I don't wear eyeshadow. Like, I only really wear eyeshadow if I'm going like full out. So I just do mascara and to start off, I take a bit of Vaseline and I just put it on the tips 
of my eyelashes. This helps your lashes grow. So by doing this before you do your makeup, so have it on all day then, and even when you've got makeup on, your lashes can still be growing. It just protects them as well from like when you put mascara on. It gets it makes it easier to get it off at the end of the day. And I just take my curler and just curl them. And then I just take any mascara really. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex one and this one's running out. I have the big version of it, but I always end up using the small version because it's like at the top of my mascara pal. And my big version's right at the bottom. So I think I've got like loads still after that. This is such a good mascara. Does anyone else like, find it impossible to do your mascara without like sticking your tongue? I have to like... For my eyebrows, I'm just gonna brush them up just because I got them done like four days ago. So you don't really need a right lot doing to them. And then any highlighter, this is the sleek one. This is the Solicitous. Uh, whatever it just looks like this basically just put a little bit on my nose as well and on the cupid bar and even on the days that I'm not doing makeup I always line my lips and I don't know why I'm just taking in shabby chic and I just do it like over and then a little bit on the bottom as well and just tap that in and it just makes your lips look a little bit more plump but I feel like if you don't outline if you just got around them like over the, like the cupid's bow it can just help make the front bit look a bit more like. And then on, so, on some days I'll take a setting spray and some days I'll just use like a face spray. So this is by The Body Shop. This is the strawberry one and you can put it over makeup. You can put it on just like for skincare. I use it for both really. Like um, this one is always just next to me. So I'm just going to spray this. It smells really good. So this is the finished look and it's like I said it's just like quite natural just everyday makeup this is usually what I do for college and it really doesn't take that long like it takes me like 15 20 minutes to do so if you're running late then so if you did enjoy this video then give it a thumbs up comment on our other videos what you want to see us doing in the future Jasmine's got a video coming on Wednesday so watch that and then we've got a video coming Saturday as well uh, I think our schedule is actually sorted now, like we had a bit of like technical issues but that's probably just like a cure retrograde just messing up the internet so thanks. Um, but yes, yeah, so I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you later.